is OKG420, and I'm coming to you again after uh, another dumpster dive that I did. It was raining, so I couldn't really take footage. Um, I didn't want to take a chance at messing up the equipment, so we just didn't. And shooting through the window was not very good, so I picked up some more um, promo boxes. They were wet. I was just waiting for them to get dry. And I picked up some more. I'm going to show them to you right now. Uh, the first one is uh, Dragon's Dogma. I've never seen this game before, but it looks pretty cool. It's by Capcom. It looks pretty cool. Capcom makes some pretty cool games, so I'm pretty sure it'll be good. Mainly because I love them, because I love Street Fighter. And Capcom's one of the best games, one, one of the best game makers out there. So, uh, I'm going to have to look out for this one. This one looks pretty good. My other one is called Mad World. I've seen this one for the Wii. It looks pretty cool. I haven't tried it yet, though. But again, another one of my favorite makers of games, Sega. <laughs> so, um, this one looks pretty cool. The artwork looks fucking awesome, doesn't it? I love shit like this because it reminds me of comic books, like graphic novels. So that's pretty cool. I love artwork. Uh, the next one is Battlefield 3. I'm not really into this or these kind of games, but whatever. Um, the online thing, I kind of like just being on the solo mission type of deal, not really on the online thing or whatever. But uh, this is a lot of people's cup of tea, so I know this would be look really nice in a game room. So this, this is why I picked this one up. And last but not least is Ghost Recon Future Soldier. This one's pretty cool. My brother has this game. He's been playing it for a while now. So, um, yeah, these are the the promo boxes. All these promo boxes are the ones that I picked up, and they're starting to stack up. I've got quite a few, but I think it's interesting anyway. So I just keep them around. You never know. One day they might be worth something. One day they're not. But like I said, they're really good for decorating game rooms. So that's why I collect them. And. Jumping right into the next thing, I'm going to do a Redekai. I need to get. I need to start getting rid of these seriously, because I got too many. I've given some away already, but um, not through YouTube, through uh, through other things. I've just given them away, but now I'm going to start giving them away to my YouTube subscribers. Um, again, this really might not be for my gamer subscribers, but there are a lot of people that play this game. And I've been getting uh, inbox like crazy about when I'm going to start giving these away. Because I, I do have quite a few people that are my subscribers that play card games. And they've been wanting to try this. And some already play this and they really like it. So I'm going to start giving these away now. So I'm ready. And I thought of a contest to do for this. It's not going to be a soundbite because... To be quite honest with you, the people that play card games might not, not might not necessarily be gamers hardcore to know how to distinguish sound bites or whatnot. So um, I'm going to do something a little bit simpler, and that's going to be to answer questions questions from uh, my older videos or just my videos in general. So the question to win this game is. In one of my videos, I happened to match up a game with a manual from two different lots. And I've been saying this time and time again, whenever you come across a loose game, not in, a, not in its original packaging, not in its original box, if it doesn't have a manual, don't worry about it. Because a lot of the times when you're, you're out hunting, you're going to come across all those things, either the box, the manual, or the game. Anytime you go out, you're, you're likely to find one of those three things. So you're always going to be able to match them up. And I did that in one of my videos. I managed to purchase a lot um, from a different side of town, and I purchased another lot from a different side of the t of town. And when I put them together and I did a video, I matched up a game with its manual from two different lots. So I want you to comment on which game it was and what system it was for. And the rules are simple. Rule number one, the golden rule. Please, you must be 
a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, just subscribe. You must subscribe before you comment because it will not count and I will take your mess your your answer off of uh, the comment board. Please, it's a very simple rule. Just subscribe first and then comment. Second rule, just comment on what the game and the manual is. That's it. What it's what what system it's for and what game it is and that's it. The first one to do that, I'm gonna send you this Redekai um, set. And I don't want to open any of mine to show you what it is. Off uh, sorry, Wilson AL66 kindly let me have his that he opened up earlier in the week. And it's these tin cases. Um, when you open them up, they have the cards inside. I pre-took the card out so that I'm not making a mess here. But this is the tin. And inside it comes with a deck of cards. And this is the playing field, apparently. And what you do is, these cards are really cool, by the way. I mean, I don't play it, but it looks pretty interesting. There's a lot of these um, hologram cards. They have them, I don't know if you can see that pretty good, but they're hologram cards. And what you do is you basically just stack them on top of these character cards. And it's too hard to explain, but for the most part, you just stick them in here. You just overlap them, and I don't know how exactly it works, but you know what? Uh, just YouTube it. <laughs> it. It'd be a lot easier to do. So that's my contest. If you can be the first one to comment on what game it is, please be a subscriber first. Subscribe first. Um, my gamer subscribers, you don't have to participate. You can, but... I'm going to make up a contest for the gift card coming up really soon. So if you want to wait for that one. But you can also participate in this one. I, it doesn't matter. It's for everyone. But this one might not be your cup of tea. So for my uh, card gamers out there, um, please participate. This one is for you. And hopefully you'll stay tuned for the next one that I'll be giving away. So this is OKT420. And please stay tuned and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. That way you won't have to constantly PM me when I'm going to be doing a contest. Just follow it on my Twitter account. And I post it up there. And you'll find all the information out on Twitter. So please subscribe to Twitter and uh, my YouTube account. So thank you. And I will please stay tuned.